What's up, everybody? We're back with Final Fantasy VI. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, I apparently missed something. Um, one, uh, I said in the last episode that we were all set, it up, set up, but off screen, I actually remembered that I am indeed forgetting one small little detail. Uh, oh, I don't have what's his face in my party. I have Locke in my party. One reason, one thing I forgot was, well, I actually have Luca equipped with the uh, Imp Halberds for whatever reason. I think I had her in Imp status, and also with the Imp's armor. Okay. Helps provide best defense in the game. That's one thing I'll give it. Uh, no. No, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We don't need that. We want to go into the Relic Shop. Because... Oh, wait, no, not the Relic Shop. We want to go in... Is this the I think this is the house, actually. Let's go in here. Uh, no elixirs? Dang it. Uh, well, anyways, you need to go down here and talk to this old man. <coughs> Take this. Cursed shield. If we could break its curse, imagine its defensive power. Those of you who do not know what this thing is, this is the worst shield in the game. The absolute worst shield in the game. Reasons I don't need to go into. In fact, let me check our status. Er... Uh... Uh... Let's actually check, like, the... The... Curl shield... Curl shield under this thing. Wherever it is. Where is it? There we go. Weak point. It's weak against literally every single thing in the game. Literally everything. However... If you fight 256 battles, I want to say it is, uh, the curse is dispelled. But, uh, it doesn't just do that. Watch this. Terra is in Berserk, Poison, Doom, and Confuse. Permanently. Permanently. Until the curse is lifted. So that's one battle out of 256. Needless to say, we're going to be going through a lot of fights. So, I might want to do this off-screen, but at the same time, I really want to do something this episode. Mantidia, we fought these things already. Uh, quickly use fire magic to, to dispatch them. Oh, she killed herself! Uh, do this. Give me your magic! Haha, <laughs> 420 blaze it! Uh, also, keep in mind that these things have the highest attack power in the game. The highest attack power, apparently. Like, twice as much as the final boss. Uh, life to- actually, I might want to use quick here. Quick. Magic. Life to- and just steal things. Alright. First, we're going to be using, uh, Cure 3 on the whole party. Look at that! The sprite for her confusion is still going! Isn't that weird? Okay, let's, uh, do another Osmos. Oh, did I already take magic points from that guy by chance? No, I didn't. It was the other one. Good. Good thing she's not in zombie status. That would make this, like, really annoying. Can you get out of here, please? Uh, needless to say, you just want to get rid of those things ASAP. Uh, but the place I'm going to be actually doing the grinding for the battles is really not, is really, really, really simple. I'm simply going to be down here the whole time until I finally get rid of this thing's curse. So, uh, actually, let me talk about what we fight here. We fight these little mouse things. These little mouse things. They only have one hit point. One. Boom. They- see? We, we didn't even need to kill them. They can just kill themselves. Also, uh, you don't want to have her with the, uh, scimitar on, because she'll kill people really fast with that. So, uh, off screen, I'll be grinding until I get the paladin shield, which is the up, which is what happens when the shield is cursed. So, I'll see you guys in a little while.
All right, everyone, after doing some immense counting, and very tedious, actually, we have reached 255 battles. So, mean, that means that this last one will dispel the curse. So, without further ado, let's get it going. Let's dispel this curse once and for all, and I'll show you the true power of this shield. And I want to end it in style. If these guys don't kill themselves anyways. I want to make sure Realm gets a good point in here. Pearl Wind. Death. Pearl, here we go. Holy. This last battle. Before the best shield in the game. 1 EXP. Magic point. Dispelled curse on shield. There we go. And with that, we get the best shield in the entire game. Better than the Aegis shield, actually. So let's take a look at that. Uh. Yeah. Let's find it. Uh. Maybe it's down there somewhere. That's gotta be, actually. Where is the thing? Where is the thing? Come on! Here we go, Paladin Shield. How is a hero's soul? Look at this! No effect. Water, um... Gravity, I want to say that is. Wind and poison. I think. And then she absorbs holy... Lightning. She absorbs holy, thunder, ice, and fire. 59 defense. Ultima learned at times 1%, uh, times 1 rate. Evade plus 40. Magic defense 59. Magic block plus 40. Needless to say, this is absolutely the best shield in the game. But, I believe everyone's already learned Ultima, so by this point, it doesn't really matter that I have the shield or the Esper. But think, but actually, the Esper was the sole reason I was able to do that. So, yeah. Now that we've got the best shield in the game, let us continue on. And let's go to where Go-Go is held. I don't want to say held, because that's going to make sounds like a prisoner. Well, technically he is. No one really knows this guy exists, because you have to go down here. And basically get a game over. Zone Eater. Do nothing. Sit there. Sit there and let them eat you. Mun munch, munch, munch. So this thing can talk, or is it yum? It's like yum yum. Engulf. He's eating Kyle now. Mmm, munch, munch, munch. What happens if you sketch this guy? I'm curious. Engulf. Hit. Oh, that didn't do much at all. And in goes Realm. And lastly is Luca. Come on now. Now, normally, I believe this would result in a game over, but in this case, it does not. Actually, it transports you into a... It, it's either inside a Zone Eater's stomach, or it's like a special cave that they take you to, or like another dimension. Don't really know how this works. Uh, ooh. Magic Pluck 89. We want that Magus Rod. Because that officially makes her uh, magic block better than anyone else's in the entire game. And that therefore makes her the best at evading attacks. All attacks. Now, this place is a little bit annoying, so I would... Esp and especially later on, when we get to a certain crushing room. Much like uh, Mario World. So I suggest you put on the sprint shoes. Also, these guys here, make sure you don't interact with them, because they'll knock you off to the bottom. And I don't know, are those things, are those guys supposed to be, like, workers, or are they humans, or are they, like, I, I, I don't know what those things are supposed to be, but it's really creepy how you run into them, then they, like, push you off the edge. Isn't that just a little bit, I don't know. I don't want to think, I don't want to say disconcerting, because I don't think that's the right word to say here. It's, I guess it's a little bit unsettling. Then again, to be fair, disconcerting is, and... Unsettling are two similar words. Oh, disconcerting to them. Magical Brush. Doesn't really do much, except increase their speed and stamina, decrease his magic power. Magus Rod is much, much better. So, wait for that guy in green. See, don't they look like workers of some kind? What are they supposed to be? 
Sir, can you move? Jesus Christ, move! Get on the other side! Uh, Waiting games. I have no patience at all. Leave me alone. Eh. No! No! Oh, I was so close. Basically, the gimmick here is that you have to, you know, jump over the edges, make sure they don't run into you. But if you do it just right, you'll be able to get one of the greatest things for Realm, actually. So let's go try and do that. Oh my god, he was supposed to knock me over there. How did he not? Heh, weak, I suppose. Move, sir! This one's the most annoying to get to move. Because it's complete, it's complete AI. Eh, okay, got it. Fake mustache. No. There we go. Fake mustache. A really awesome relic for, for, uh, realm here. Turn sketch into control. Control is one of my favorite abilities in the whole game. Apart from, like, you know, relic combinations, such as Genji Glove, Master Scroll, and, uh, you know, oh, I don't know, Economizer and Gem Box or whatever, you know? Or, or, or two earrings, for that matter. The reason why you want the sprint shoes is because these things can kill you. You know, and actually, it'll look like you survive, but the game will, like, bug out, and you'll actually end up dying. Like, I I'll, I'll do it on purpose. You'll I'll get a game over... Not in that intentional way. Alright. So let's try that again. There's a way th that you can have, like, your character set up in a certain place, like, right next to an edge, or right next to a chest, or something like that, where... It'll look like they survive, but they actually like you actually get a game over after it. It'll look like you survive, but you actually die afterwards. And I'll have to try and find an example of such a scenario. Whoa. That was dangerously close. Get that thing, run. Run like a maniac. All right. I'm safe sitting here to see if I can get the uh but special, I guess, bug to work out. Okay, it's not it's not doing it somehow. I don't know. There's something always happened where I would die by sitting close to the edge. Has that ever happened to you? Because that's happened to me before. Hmm. When? How? When and how did it happen? Maybe it's stand here? I don't know. It, I, it, it was probably my emulator bugging up or something. But something caused me to get a game over when, not, when I was actually supposed to be surviving, you know. It was really, really weird. But, needless to say, uh, that's probably the hardest... That's probably the most annoying thing you're gonna run into. No huge deal, but it does get pretty tedious after a while. Go over here, jump on this thing, create some bridges somehow. That, I don't know how, like, they're switching these natural caves. That means someone's doing something. Kafka probably did this. Kafka, we love you because you, even though you're, like, stupid and, like, you hate on people, you're a co total hater. Okay. Warp puck. Okay, watch this. Pincer attack. Seems like a ba seems bad, right? Watch this! Uh, eh, 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 eh. Control. Watch Luca do something. That is this. Yawn. Ha, you missed. That's what the Paladin Shield does, essentially. Exploder on him. No! Well, essentially it's gonna kill him in one shot, and it's also gonna kill him in one shot. Good combo move. At least when you have control. Now we get Go Go. Those of you who've played Final Fantasy V, you know exactly who this dude is. Oh, I hated that so much. You had to go get that last crystal piece or something. No, it was one of the. It was a job. You had to go back to uh, Warris Tower, which has been completely flooded, and you have five minutes to go down there and get the mime thing. Get the mime treasure. The way you do this is that you can actually kill Gogo, -Go, but, uh, it's really, really difficult. You just have to sit there and do nothing. That's the whole gimmick thing here, Gogo. -Go. 
I'm glad they made a reference to five, though. <laughs> Creature. I am Gogo, master of simulacrum? Oh, simulacrum. Something like that. Simulation. My miming skills will astonish you. Yes, I have been idle for too long. If I deem you worthy, I'll mime your actions in battle. But first, you must tell me what you're doing here. What an unusual tale. But I sense that you're trying to help make things right again. This should be fun. When do we leave? And we can just warp back. We don't have to go through all that crap again. And that's all we've... That's really all for the side quests. Gao does have a side quest, and I am going to go get him. Uh... Dude, oh, I really love the one... I really love some of the, the music when it's sped up sometimes. It really provides a good beat. It really does. Now, I'm going to put uh, Luca in here, just so I can get him out safely. I, I mean, I know that there's a small thing with Gao, and I'll show it off. Dude. Doesn't this, doesn't this seem like a little bit more bouncy than the original 100%? Out, out. Out, out. It takes a bit of time, but he does come out after a little bit. There he is. Ooh, wow, wow, I'm Gao. I am your friend. Let's travel together. Yay! Now we have Gao on our party. How old is Scott? How old is this guy? Like 14 ish? I don't know. Anyways, now we're here. With Tada and Luca, Sabin, Kyle, and also we have to have Gal for this at least. Cause I know there's a little story event you can do with him. Sorry about that. A little interruption, but that's all good. So we need to go here where those annoying like Tyrannosaurus Rexes are and stuff. That usual grinding spot, but we need to go in here with Gal. I think. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, hello again. Yep, you were tops. That's why we. Quick, fix that chair, then you can use it to reach the roof. Excuse me? You don't suppose... Gao, could this be your father? Whoa. Come on, Gao, it's true, right? Father... Yes, this is definitely your father. <gasps> Gao's father? Ooh, Gao, ga, ga, ga. Right, let's go tell your father the news. He needs to know you're his son. Just a minute, we can't just go in there with you looking like that. I know, let's go to Jadora give you a makeover. Wow. The bodybuilder's actually talking about makeover. It would seem a lot like how Terra and Salus would be do- would- in Realm especially would be talking about doing a makeover. No, Gao, don't eat with your fingers. Yow. Don't say yow when you mean yes. Ho. Huh. <laughs> It's like a caveman, almost. How do you like these? What about those? Hmm, oh well. Did you say something? No, nothing. Uh, uh-huh. Which is it gonna be? Oh, this is nice. But do you think it becomes Gao? Well. <gasps> what? Nothing. What a jaunty hat. Not at... Not at... What? Okay, this is really confusing. Wait a minute, where's the hat? I am really confused as to who's talking here. This is it. Me go to funeral? What? Uh, this this dialogue confuses me so bad. Oh my god, look at Cow's face. I didn't see that until now. Ha! This is it. Me go to funeral? Perfect. Functional yet sporty. Done. I don't think... Oh, is that Gao talking? Wow. Whew. Completely lacking in fashion. Excuse me, sir, could you order some clothes like the ones I'm wearing? Impossible! How dare you think I'm sticking up him in that kind of getup? Okay, Gao. Now any father'd be glad to have a son like you. Who? He kind of looks like Mozart. I don't know. Excuse me, sir. Who in blazes are you? Oh, the repairman! Sir, you had a son, right? You with me? Son. 
Right. The truth is, he's alive. Come here, gal. Father. What is this? What is this son business? I never had a son. Don't. You banged a woman. You banged a woman. Don't lie. But now that you mention it, I once had a terrible dream. In it, a demon child was born. I grabbed the creature and rushed off to the veld with it. It was crying like crazy when I arrived on the veld. But sir... I left the child there, and without looking back I turned and started to run. I'm trying to tell you... Suddenly the crying stopped. I turned around and saw a frightful monster. <coughs> that hurts my voice so bad. <coughs> Sorry about that. Hideous! Gives me the shakes! I give up. But you, young man, your parents must be proud of you. I still have dreams of that demon child. Frightening. Why, you old... He's completely lost his mind. Gao, I'm gonna clobber him. Whoa. Control yourself, Sabin. I'm sorry. Kyle? Father. Alive. Happy. Supposedly a very touching cutscene if you're, if you're like really into Gao's story, backstory and stuff, but I am not- I'm not really- I'm surprised he survived that. Anyways, let's get on to the main party, and now that we have everything, and I mean everything, taken care of, let's finally go to Kefka's Tower and start taking care of this. However, I think that we might have to do that in the next episode. Maybe. Because that grinding took a while. I think I was up to 19 minutes or something? 15 minutes? 16? Something like that. I'll have to check back on the recording. But just in case this does get too long, I am going to end it here, and then if I do have more time than I think, then I will uh, probably upload another video today. Uh, but I do have a project I need to take care of, in all honesty, I really need to take care of that. But anyways, uh, with those side quests out of the way, we are officially 100% through this game, apart from the Colosseum. Uh, but I think we're okay. So in the next one, we're gonna go to Kefka's Tower, and we're gonna finish off this game in the next few episodes. I'll see you guys then.